Here at Old Westbury Gardens, we are the former estate of John S. Phipps, who was a Carnegie Steel heir, and his family. They had the house designed and built in 1906-1907. They moved in. It's a 44-room English country home. It was not their only residence, but it was their main residence. So John and his wife Margarita resided here with their four children. At that time, and still today, we have nearly 200 acres preserved right here in Nassau County, which is pretty impressive on developed Long Island. There are beautiful formal flower gardens, 75 acres of those. There's 125 acres of informal woodlands. There's ponds, there's a pool, there's uh, a rose garden, a little cottage that used to belong to the little girl who grew up here, her playhouse. So it's a wonderful place to come and it's a really important part of Long Island's Gold Coast history as well. My favorite time of year to be in the gardens is late August, early September. The flower beds are very full. The dahlias are huge and in bloom. There's something to experience for every sense. So late summer, early fall, that's the inside scoop on that one. Like the rest of the world, Old Westbury Gardens has had to make a few changes based on COVID-19, but we have been very lucky in that we have wonderful, thoughtful visitors who respect one another and our space. With 200 acres of open space, we are the perfect location for someone to come and visit very safely. Advanced registration is new for us, um, so that has been a great way to keep our staff and our visitors safe at the same time. Our visitors have been wonderfully thoughtful to one another, and they really respect each other's space. We think of Old Westbury Gardens as kind of a solace as well, a great place to disconnect and come and visit. So it is very open, very safe in that way, but we have those protocols just in case. So 14 years, there's a lot of things that I love about Old Westbury Gardens, but if you make me pick just one, um, I will say the wall garden is an experience like no other. It's a beautiful three season enclosed garden. It's two acres right there. There are thousands of blooming plants. It's like a giant machine. So when one thing has finished, another comes in. It's a perfect cycle of nature. You can see everything from fall dahlias to springtime bulbs. There's a, a lotus pond there as well with goldfish. Wonderful roses when they're in bloom with like an amazing fragrance. Summer houses. It's really astounding the way that the design was done historically and how it's been maintained in a very modern way as well. So that is one spot not to miss here at Old Westbury Gardens.